Hello everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Um, this is my bookshelf back in my sunroom and I'm starting to move my plants out here. This was my original intent for this room and so I thought I think I'm done with traveling for the summer anyway so let's go ahead and get everything back here. I love this room. Um, I've had several of you ask me uh, for an update on my moss orchids and so I thought that's where I would start. Um, here is the very first one that I placed in moss. And as you see, <laughs> it has really, really done well. The story with this one, I had it in water culture for about a year. It did fabulously well. Then all of a sudden, a few months ago, it just got unhappy uh, in water culture. So, um, you know, it's really important for you to be happy with your growing method and more importantly for your orchids to be. So I just went ahead and tried this method and I was really glad that I did because it's really doing well. Okay, here's another, here's another one. This is one of my favorite, favorite minis. Kind of the same story. Um, did well for a while and then I just thought, um, when it started getting unhappy, I thought I'm going to go ahead and change it over now. And I've got new root tips here everywhere. All new root tips. Check this out. Um, this long root right here has gone back up into the moss. As you see, these are in containers that don't have holes. And so um, you don't have to water these very often, just when they get really, really dry because as you know, moss really holds a lot of water. This one, you can't see any roots down in it yet, but this is um, Llewellyn Preppy Lip, and I just decided to go ahead and put that one in moss as well, and it's already established in the pot, and it's been in the moss for less than a month, so it's doing well. Um, these up here are in water culture. I actually changed the container in this one, and I've got a lot of new root growth here as well as this one right here check this one out yeah lots of roots it loves water culture there's roots everywhere on this plant so that's what's going on with these plants here quick update on my vandas oh my goodness uh, the story of roots. Here we go. This is the one I got for Mother's Day. Wow, look at all the new root tips I have on this one. The roots have just grown and grown. This is that beautiful lavender one. Um, when I first got it, it was hard to even set it up in this vase. It didn't have many roots. And look at the root growth I've had on this one. And also, my Picara Blue... It's coming out of bloom now, but as you see, the roots on this one look very, very good too. These are the dendrobiums that I have out on my back porch and, um, well, in my sunroom. And as you see, they're doing very well. They have not bloomed yet. They're in bark, but they're doing well. And the one in the back as well, it is finally starting to uh, put out some new growths. Um, I'm glad to say, I didn't know if this one was going to make it, but as you see, I've got two new canes starting. When I bought this one, um, I found it at a grocery store, and it was this huge thing. And when I got it home, it was not as large as I thought. There were two plants in it, and one of them was almost gone. So this is one of those two plants. So... Yes, so I'm really, really happy to see that it's, as, that it's as doing as well as it is. And I wanted to show you as well my beautiful Catalea. This top growth here is the one, the cane, one of the canes that just grew um, for this year. And as you know, it's got three leaves. One, two, three. Okay, the new growth which is right here. I think I see a third leaf in there. Okay, so what in the world is up with that? I don't know, but it's the continuing story of the mysterious Catalea. 
And this is the final thing I thought I would share with you all. This is um, a painting that my husband did about 10 years ago. This is 07. I can't believe that. I think the colors in this are just so pretty. And it reminds me of my new little miniature that I just bought yesterday. I actually put her down in bark. I was working with my bark orchids um, day before yesterday and had some left over. And I had it. I couldn't find any moss yesterday at all. So I just um, took the smaller bark chips and placed her down in bark. So that's her new home. So I hope you all are just having a highly favored, deeply loved and greatly blessed day. And we'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.